The combustion analysis can be performed inside any stream in Promax under the Analysis tab by choosing Add Analysis and then selecting the Combustion Analysis. Let's take a look at the different properties that are calculated for us here. First we will need to decide which phase we would like it to look at. So we can look at the total phase or if this is a multi-phase system we could choose to look at just one individual phase. The analysis is going to calculate the required combustion oxygen so that's how much oxygen it would take to completely combust our stream. And along with that, it will calculate a mass stoichiometric carbon dioxide. And so this is a mass flow rate of how much carbon dioxide would be generated in complete combustion. Next thing Promax is going to, is going to calculate for us is our heating values. It will calculate a gross ideal gas heating value and a net ideal gas heating value. And so the gross ideal heating, heating value is our higher heating value and the net ideal gas heating value is our lower heating value. It can calculate these on a molar basis, mass basis, and volumetric basis. And it's going to perform these calculations based off of our gas combustion temperature and gas metering temperature. By default these values are set at 60 which is the ideal gas reference temperature but you do have the ability to override these numbers if you would prefer. But that's how these calculations for these heating values are being performed. The energy content here is just the volumetric gross ideal gas heating value multiplied by the standard volumetric flow rate of our stream and the heat release calculated lower is the net ideal gas heating value on a volumetric basis multiplied again by our standard volumetric flow rate. We also have the WAB index that's calculated in here. We have a couple more parameters that we can select to calculate this motor octane number and methane number. They're not selected by default but if you would like them calculated you can just select them right there. And now Promax is calculating those two values as well. Now this octane number is different than what you would normally think about with like your liquid fuels. This motor octane number is for natural gas, as is the methane number. But those can be calculated, and the methane number correlations are these two different options that we have to choose from. If we go on down to the bottom of this analysis, we also have some liquid heating values calculated for us. Again, the gross and net heating values can be calculated on molar mass and volumetric bases. And again, they'll refer to a liquid combustion temperature and liquid metering temperature, which the defaults are once again 60 degrees for our liquid reference temperature. There's also a second tab here, this components tab. If I come to this components tab, we'll have a list of all the components. And so we can choose to select which components we want this analysis to be based off of. And so if you'd like to choose to ignore particular components, you could uh, do so here in this list. There's also these component subsets that are already built for you. And so you could select particular groupings and the combustion analysis will only be based on those components that are selected. There's also this oxygen to atomic ratio section. And so this is just setting up the stoichiometry of how much oxygen per carbon and hydrogen and so on that it takes in combustion and this is the the normal stoichiometric amounts but you could adjust those numbers as well and so this here is the combustion analysis